हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस इन एडिटोरियल फ्राम द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड टूडे द टॉपिक इज लिटल बिट डिफरेंट आई विल टॉक अबाउट द क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट बट द असोसिएट टॉपिक इज हाउ कास्ट इज असोसिएटेड विथ क्लाइमेट चेंज और सो द टाइटल इज हाउ कास्ट कम्स इन टू प्ले वेन क्लाइमेट चेंजेस राइट सो द ऑथर इज अजमल खान एटी और अजमल खानत आई एम सॉरी इट्स अजमल खानत हु हैज रिटर्न एन एडिटोरियल इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस सो लेट सी वॉट इज इन द एडिटोरियल इट सेल्स The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that is IPCC has just released the final part of the 6th assessment report. This report is seen as one of the most important assessment which makes it clear that anthropogenic climate change has caused widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere, ocean, cryosphere and biosphere. <coughs> so United Nations Panel on Climate Change IPCC is a body which uh, release assessment reports and uh, this year it has uh, released six assessment report the final part of the six assessment report earlier before i think in 2022 the uh, the first part of the six assessment report was released but after uh, some 2 to 3 months Uh, the final part of the sixth assessment report uh, was released and till now it is the most important assessment reports which uh, makes it clear what anthropogenic climate change has caused widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere and ocean and biosphere see guys the climate change is not a new phenomenon it's uh, it's a very old phenomenon and it also occurs naturally but what has caused the concern is the anthropogenic climate change not only climate change climate change happens naturally as well which is beneficial as well but the anthropogenic climate change has caused widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere so uh, if someone says is climate change a problem so you can say uh, not climate change is, is a problem but anthropogenic climate change or the anthropogenic activity which has spurred the growth of climate change that is makes the uh, concern for this planet right so it's already affecting many weather and climate extremes in every region across the globe so due to anthropogenic activity the climate change affect many weather and climate extremes in every region across the globe like we can see the <coughs> uh, events of heat wave cold wave right unseasonal rains so these are some examples of climate extremes the report stress how vulnerable communities that have historically contributed the least to current climate change are disproportionately affected so this report stresses about how vulnerable communities that have historically contributed very less in this climate change anthropogenic climate change are the are the ones who are majorly affected by this uh, impacts of this climate change it is like i <coughs> they have not contributed uh, in the cause of this climate change right widespread climate change and its effects but they are the one who are uh, suffering the most right unlike most of the previous reports by the ipcc the ar6 which means assessment report 6 synthesis report stresses on international and internal inequality and the disproportionate impacts on the most vulnerable communities particularly in africa asia and central and south america so 
the affecting uh, vulnerable communities are in africa asia central asia and central and south america moving ahead how do we make sense of this report in india where the most climate vulnerable communities are dalits adivasi bahujan groups nomadic and pastoral communities traditional and small scale fishers and small and marginal farmers urban poor women and sexual minorities etc so the author is saying that how do we make sense sense of this report in india like the report is talking about interne- uh, international communities or the communities uh, at the global level but uh, is it a ju- is it justified if we do not talk about the internal inequalities and we are uh, speaking uh, to the developed countries that they are uh, doing injustice towards developing countries so in most part of india the term climate change is slowly getting registered though its impact was being felt for more than a decade in india as variability in rainfalls changing monsoon patterns increasing floods and heat waves erratic weather conditions and coastal erosion etc so the term is slowly getting known by the people but its impact was being felt for more than a decade in india as we can see the variability in rainfalls changing monsoon patterns earlier the monsoon used to come in the uh, season of four months but now you can uh, see or feel monsoon at any time right even in march so these uh, increasing floods and heat waves we have seen the variability or the uh, the pattern of monsoon has been uh, is is changed right uh, now there is a uh, i mean uh, there are va- variability in terms of uh, not quantity but in terms of regionality i mean regional imbalance like uh, in uh, uh, earlier in south gujarat there used to be there used to be a high rain and the kutch used to be a drought prone region but now it uh, uh, the phenomenon uh, is uh, little bit reverse like kutch gets almost more more rain in terms of quantity than its previous records whereas in south gujarat the quantity of the rainfall is decreasing a year on a yearly basis as the indian monsoon and rainfall patterns are changing significantly due to climate change the agriculture sector see the sector comes into picture where 70% of all farmers from the scheduled caste work as agriculture laborers dependent on daily or seasonal wage, wages gets hit first so the monsoon and rainfall uh, rainfall pattern is changing and the india is agriculture dominated society or economy so the agriculture sector is the first where the impacts of this climate change is being felt and it it is in this sector only where 70% of all farmers are from the scheduled scheduled caste and work as a agriculture laborer on daily wages or seasonal wages so they are the first one or the they are the first communities which will get hit first moving ahead last year assam was flooded and around 197 people lost their lives and 235845 hectares of crops were damaged the sanitation workers from the bansfor community of guwahati city had to work day and night to unclog drains and wash up the sludge in the city so assam was flooded and 197 people lost their lives crops were damaged but the sanitation worker that is safai karmachari from bansfor that is scheduled caste community in guwahati city they had to work day and night to unclog 
the drains and wash off the sludge in the city according to safai karmachari andolan a movement aimed at eliminating manual scavenging this karmachari andolan is aiming at move is a movement which is aiming at eliminating manual scavenging approximately 98% of all workers employed in this kind of work are dalits and predominantly women so in the work of this manual scavenging 98% of all workers are from dalit and mostly women so in the case of agriculture sector they are the one who who are suffer from the impact of climate change again in the urban or the, in the urban flood like in the guwahati city they are the one who will be who are affected by the most as they have to unclog the drains so research has demonstrated how in the marathwada region of maharashtra one of the most drought prone regions in the country mahar matang then chambar Pardi and Koli Mahadev communities bear the brunt of caste-based oppression, inequalities, and discrimination with recurring droughts in the region for decades. So, in the Maratha region, which is the drought-prone region in the country, most drought-prone region, in this region also, Mahar community, Matan community, Chambar community, Pardi community, and Koli Mahadev community, they are they are bearing the brunt of caste-based oppression. then inequalities and discrimination also with recurring droughts in the region for decades so these are the three examples which uh, author has tried to justified with okay so you can write this in the uh, in so social issues as part of my research in 2022 I travel across south and north 24 Pargana districts in the state of West Bengal which are part of the Indian Sundarbans one of the most climate vulnerable regions in the country that is Sundarbans most of the women from Munda Bedia Bhumij and Oraun Adivasi communities I met complain about how their health is being impacted by the increasing salt water content as a result of sea level rise the women have to stand for several hours in the water to catch fish and collect crabs and mussels a major part of their livelihood and diet so in north in south and north 24 parganas which are in the state of west bengal are part of the indian sundarbans one of the most climate vulnerable regions these are the most climate vulnerable regions in this region most of the women from munda community bedia bhumij and oraun adivasi community to whom author met <coughs> uh, they uh, they the women the women complain about how their health is being impacted by the increasing salt water content so salt water content is increased as a re- result of sea level rise and they have to stand several for hours in the water to catch fish and collect crabs which is the part of their livelihood and diet so this is the another example of how the scheduled caste and the vulnerable sections are being affected by the climate change Dalit and Adivasi communities have fewer adaptation resources to combat the damage from events related to climate change since they continue to be deprived of socio economic and political rights and face systematic discrimination though so they have very fewer adaptation resources right to combat the damage in the recently concluded United Nations climate change conference in Egypt India spoke eloquently about international climate justice and the loss and damage funds that developed countries have to contribute to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change process. So author is saying that here in uh, in the COP27 India has spoke eloquently 
about international climate justice and told that how the developed countries should contribute to this climate change fund however india does not address internal climate justice and inequalities within how do we even think about loss and damage when our society is based on caste that ensure permanent loss and damage to dalit communities for centuries along with class gender and race caste needs to be acknowledged as a category by the unfccc so in the conclusion author is saying that along with class gender and race caste needs to be acknowledged as a category by the unfccc india should recognize caste and climate vulnerabilities of caste oppressed communities and initiate measures to protect them and these efforts should be part of the national and state climate action policies so author is saying that uh, india needs to acknowledge <coughs> the caste needs to be acknowledged as a category and uh, india have to acknowledge or should recognize caste and climate vulnerabilities of caste oppressed communities caste and climate vulnerabilities of caste oppressed communities and initiate measures to protect them and this effort should be a part of the national and state climate action policies right so this is uh, a good conclusion which you can uh, write in the answers of the climate justice right that india should recognize caste and climate vulnerabilities of caste oppressed communities right uh, there is a caste vulnerabilities and the other is climate vulnerabilities of whom caste based of uh, caste based caste oppressed communities and initiate measures to protect them and this effort should be part of the national and state climate action policies so <clears throat> this was the whole auditorial we have seen that how caste comes into play when climate changes and how this caste that is scheduled caste are being uh, suffered or are being impacted by the effect of climate changes so <clears throat> in this editorial author has given many examples the one is agriculture sector the second is uh, assam flood that is mass for community then third is marathawada region fourth is sundarbans right so these are the four uh, examples which you can quote in your answers in essay as well as general studies right and con- conclusion also can be used in the essay right so this was all about today thank you guys bye bye signing off for the day bye